Next Dimension. Hey guys, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today I have another episode of Q&A with UCD, but today I'm joined with a very special guest, my brother, Mystical Cerebro 99 Go and introduce yourself. Basically, I'm a common arms and fifth thirteen commentator, and I have a few series on my channel, and I love doing it, so I enjoy doing it, and that's why I do it. That's good, that's good. That's always the one of the best reasons to go and start YouTube, in my opinion, and we'll go and talk about that later. And pretty much the questions we've gone and picked for today are relative to both of us, rather than just me. So if, you, if there was a really specific question you went and asked in that last episode, go and resubmit it for next week, and I'm sure I will answer it. But let's start off with the first question by Greg Heffley, slash Visual Design Tutorial, because they literally had the exact same question. And they go and ask, Mystical Story Bro 99. Was it like to be the brother of a popular YouTuber? Now, popular YouTube is a bit flattering, but we'll go with it. How is it, Chris? It's pretty cool to be a brother of a big YouTuber because people recognise you as, like, um, the brother of a big YouTuber because they'll be like, oh, you're UCD's brother. And people get surprised when I tell them that I'm UCD's brother. So it's pretty cool. And, you know, you get some help from him and stuff like that about YouTube. Oh, yeah, because I do have quite a lot of experience, and that's, like, I like kind of guiding Chris, because my brother's name is Chris. I like guiding him in a way of how he does YouTube and, like, telling him good series to start and stuff like that and how to edit his videos. You know, it's really, really good to kind of train him in a way, in the way of the YouTube and whatever he wants to do. And the next question is by Right Control 21 and he asks, what's your most loved and hated free-to-play FPS game? Well, mine is Combat Arms and Combat Arms. What's yours, Chris? Mine is Combat Arms and Combat Arms. <laughs> Combat Arms and Combat Arms, that's a bloody right. It's a fantastic game, but it's also very much a hated game. So, you know, you've got the ups and downs, but still, it's I still like it. You can say next question. The third question is by Pathological 100, and he says, What's your opinion on Larry quitting? I'll start off first. Um, my opinion is, like, if he doesn't want to do Combat Arms, it's his choice, because... If he's, de isn't he, if he's not enjoying playing it and making commentaries about it, it's no use producing videos because the effort in the videos won't be there. Stuff like that. That's yeah. pretty much exactly what I was going to say. If Larry does, I'm hilarious. If you guys don't know, he's Larry. That's his actual name. If he doesn't want to go and play Combat Arms, then he is obviously not going to go and make really, really good videos. So it's obvious that if quitting is the best choice for him to play better games, games that he enjoys, he can make better videos in. And if I ever stopped enjoying Combat Arms completely, because I do like Combat Arms and there is a couple problems, but I still enjoy way to game if I just completely hate it and I did something really bad at the game and if I quit it then I would you know stop um, combat arms videos just because I wouldn't be putting the right amount of effort into them they would just look really 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 bad now the next question is by Mike Coco CA and he asks what type of player do you think you are a rusher camper or a flanker now for me I'm a combination of all three and you can see this in my gameplay I'm a rusher because rushing gameplay is very aggressive and it's great for gameplay commentaries because people love to see it. Camping is when I'm on like a really good streak or I have like low HP. I'll sit at the back of the map, pick a couple of people off, wait till I see a HP pack, pick that up and then go rushing again. But I can also also kind of combine the rushing and flanking elements into one because I also like to flank enemies and get some easy kills off them. What about you? I'm basically a rusher and a flanker because Rushing I use in games like Call of Duty, you know, Black yeah, Ops yeah. 2 and stuff like that. But flanking mostly used sometimes with combat arms. But I also use rushing combat arms too. Like flanking is used like in death room when you go behind the back. Oh yeah, and definitely. Use that definitely. That. It's a good um, tactic. Tactic, yes. That's, <laughs> that's the word. good. That's the word. So the next question is by Hooded CF, and he said, "What do you get for Christmas?" I got some clothes, you know, some good T-shirts, like shorts and stuff. And I also got a fifty dollar PSN card. Spent that on some FIFA points. Of yeah, course, so of course. Pretty good. Buy some packs. And yeah, what'd you get? I got my um, I got my new computer. I've been saying it quite a lot on my channel. I've been, I'm really, really proud of my new computer because honestly, it's everything I wanted from it, and I can make so many good videos. I'm on my laptop at the moment. Well, it's not really my laptop anymore because I've, my brother Chris is kind of inherited in a way. It's his now because I've got my desktop. He's got my old laptop. He can make his videos. It's perfect for him for the basic editing. But now I've got my beast where I can do so many good stuff on there, and I can make. Keep some more videos for you guys at really, really good quality. 
So the next question is by iFoxCA, and he asks, you guys are Aussie, how do you choose what clubs you like, Ev like Everton and Liverpool, because that's those clubs we support, and do you guys follow the Aussie league? Now, pretty much, how did you start, Chris? Started supporting Liverpool, because one of my cousins supported Liverpool, and Liverpool were going really good at the time, so I thought, why not just go for Liverpool, and he supported Everton, just pissed me off. Pretty much, if you guys don't know, that Liverpool and Everton are pretty much the opposite sides of the same town. So it's a massive, massive, massive big thing between these guys. They have a, just they kind of hate each other in a yeah, way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit aggressive at times, but you know, we don't have the aggression here. We just kind of, you know, we kind of pay each other out once in a while if they kind of lose or something like that. But still, I follow evident mainly because of that reason but now I've kind of grown I really 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 like the team but initially I like it for that reason and there was a couple of players a couple of Australian players that I liked in there as well but now I just like the team in general and they're just really good to watch so the Aussie League as well um I'm not too big I'm not such a big fan of the Aussie League how about you? Uh, I support Adelaide United and Newcastle Jets Newcastle Jets based because Emma Heskey is there and Adelaide United because we live in Adelaide. Of, of course, of course. Now, next question is by 1N5 Ass Aka, and he says, Who's your favourite CA YouTuber? So, for me, it would be half on the cover, it's half on Drop Shop. Both produce quality videos and I enjoy watching them. So, yeah, that's basically it. How about you? Uh, for me, in the actual, like, right now, I'd have to say my favourite guy is Sniff because he sniffed, like, oh my god, Sniff. But there's so many other great people. So you got I think drops. You got Tao Sniper ninety eight. Got Tanner Production on his new channel. Influence Turtle going sub him right now, guys. Do sub all those people. Sub and, that. Sub that. <laughs> and you got you just got so many really really great people in the Combat Arms community. I could continue to say in everybody because I just have so many people that I really really like to watch. But I have to say Sniff is my favorite just because he's Sniff. That's pretty much my reason. Now the next question's by the same guy as the last question. That's not his actual username, it's like literally the same guy because we had, he submitted two really, really good questions. And he goes and asks, how do you get inspiration to start a YouTube channel? And pretty much my major inspiration was Backstar. When I saw his videos, I want to become Backstar. And I, you know, when I first started my channel, that was my aim. Do what Backstar did kind of thing. Do reviews, have his voice and stuff like that. But you know, I, that really didn't work. And when I kind of started, it, I, from when I was then till now, I kind of progressed. I was like, I want to become myself. I want to do better from what I can do. Make myself feel unique in the way I do my commentary and stuff like that. So pretty much it's now, he's been my inspiration, but now I've kind of moulded myself in a way into a commentator that's very unique and I don't think I'm really the same as anybody else on YouTube, which is really, really, really nice. How about you, Chris? Uh, I got inspiration from watching big YouTubers like KSI and stuff. I think one of like first videos I watched was one of his like fifth funnies. Yeah. And I got inspiration from that and I showed Alex and it was like really funny. It was funny. Yeah, and then um from that I watched some Common Arms videos and I thought, mate, might do Common Arms and FIFA. Very unique combination I started doing it. First video didn't get too good <laughs> response, but um yeah, so that's basically how I got on my inspiration. So, so yeah, that's pretty much all the questions. Like Chris do the outro for this. So if you did, guys, if you did like this video, give it a like rating. It doesn't take that long. And it doesn't take that long, you say. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. You just need to click that click. Click that click. Well, some people sm slow mouse movements. Go on. Twitch Continue. That. Twitch. Continue. Twitch that like Twitch, button. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch it like you're doing a sniper 360 off the, you know, the crane on oil rig. But continue. And on. also, if this was one of your favourite videos, favourite. Yeah, course, you, you, know. can, you can do that as well. You can do that. And yeah. comment for the next video. Because if you want to ask this mate, this lad, some questions, yep. ask him some questions, some like deep questions, some like deep. straight to the soul, you know, straight to the soul. yeah mate, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, as Chris said, you know, drop a like rating, always helps the channel. But, but other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Dana, with Mr. Cool Story Bro 99 out.